Good morning. It is 7.10 a.m. May 31st, 2024. Uh, got some work done this morning and just thought I'd walk back in here. Uh, do a little quick walk and talk before we head to the office. Um, <clears throat> show you something here quick. What happens when we have uh, bad snows in the winter time that are a lot of weight. They bend these trees down and then sometimes the trees straighten up, sometimes they don't. But uh, you can see what I'm talking about here behind me, this tree that's bending over like that. Uh, it's always a shame to see things move away from being straight. <laughs> uh, little inside joke there. But I want to talk real quickly here about a discovery I made yesterday in my research about the real reason, I believe, for World War III. I'm going to put a little map up here on the screen. Saw this yesterday, Judge Napolitano interviewing Colonel Douglas McGregor, and they talked about this thing of this new road. And um, this road goes from India up to Russia, specifically the Moscow, uh, Petersburg, St. Petersburg, or whatever you call it, uh, area there. And um, the red route there is this new route. The blue route has been around for a very long time, and that's the old way that they would get goods from the Far East into Europe, and of course over to America. But you see, America's not in Bible prophecy, so America's going to be cut out of the deal. And right now, the American economy is crashing. Our dollar's, I think, worth one cent right now or something, 1% of its original value, because that's what happens to fiat currencies. They're not money, it's a currency. And uh, the dollar's crashing. And right now, the dollar is still the world's reserve currency, but now you have BRICS, the BRICS countries, and they have created their own BRICS dollar, and, and it's being launched and everything else, and, and uh, the world is about to change. And you know, I just want to make a point here, brethren. Don't get upset about it. Uh, Christians have gone through a lot of disasters. The Lord will protect you. He'll get you through it. Christians went through the Great Depression here in America. And uh, even bigger than that one, Christians went through the fall of Rome, the ancient Roman Empire. The ancient Roman Empire that uh, constantly was having issues with uh, money, getting enough gold to pay the soldiers. And they would stretch their forces so thin to go into other areas, to conquer new areas, to get more gold, to make more soldiers so that they could get more gold, so that they could make more soldiers. <laughs> God has established boundaries, the bounds of their habitation. And when countries start to uh, go against God's boundaries, then they start to have problems. What ancient Rome should have done is just been content to be a strong nation where they were. Um, they should have just stayed where they were and not gone and messed around with going up into Europe trying to take over the barbarians and down into northern Africa and you know and all these different places that uh, Rome found itself going into. What a mistake. And as a result uh, they fell. Lots of internal division. We don't see that today here in America do we? Um, spending money just frivolously. We don't see that in America. Uh, Foolish military campaigns um, where you're wasting all of your energy and all your resources while your other, the other enemies of your nation are building in strength. Huh. Kind of like uh, China and Russia. That uh, down through the 20th century, they weren't getting involved in every little war that they could find them, you know, that they could get into like America was. They weren't trying to uh, build their empire like America. But now, um, it's America's turn to crash like ancient Rome. And it will happen. 
I will guarantee you it's a sure word of prophecy. Just like this birch tree here once was a strong niche or was a strong tree. And great was the fall of it. <laughs> Not much of a great fall, I understand, it's just a little tree, but uh, just walking around here and thought I'd just shove that thing down so it will rot good and compost and turn into some good soil and people come back and say, wasn't there a tree that used to stand here? Used to. Not anymore though. Yeah. Wasn't there a great nation? Wasn't this the state of Maine? Used to be. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of theories. Who's going to take over America? Will this, the New England states, be given back to Europe, uh, become part of the European Union? I don't know. Will uh, Russia come in and take the whole country? I don't know. You know, they'll split it up, and China will get the West Coast, and Russia will get Alaska back, and, and you know, we'll have all these different... Nobody knows, except for God. God knows. But... Um, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but it's very interesting to see this whole thing and I'm realizing that map where they're showing all the trade will come from China over to India and right up to Russia. And then Russia will sit there in a very good position and say to all of Europe, you want the goods? You come to us. And um, so, uh, America is going to go down and quite frankly I don't think America is going to be um, recognizable a year from today May 31st 2024 until May 31st of uh, 2025 I think it's going to be a different country let me show you another thing here this is called a wind shake in forestry I don't know if you can see this this big crack right here. See again, this tree, as it's because of the canopy is so dense up here, like this, this tree has no choice but to try to reach for the skies like this, go up as high as it can. And so it's not getting a lot of strength down here. And then if this tree starts to really blow back and forth heavily in a storm, it can actually split the tree, it can actually crack it like that. Another thing that you can tell about trees. These are uh, uh, birch polypores right here. You can see in my hand. My dog likes to chase those. This is from a woodpecker. They're in here looking for bugs. And um, once you start getting bug damage, once you start to get fungal growth on it, like this, mushrooms and things growing on it, again that thing I can't push that one over, it's a little bit too heavy yet, but another thing here, you see this old knot? Didn't really heal over that great. Introducing rot into the tree, that will get down into it, kill the tree. See, there's a lot of things that will kill a healthy tree. And that tree can look really healthy. You might look up top of that thing and you can see all the green leaves up there on this birch tree and you think, there isn't anything wrong with that birch tree, it'll stand for, for a long time. And then, all of a sudden, you'd, a storm comes up and it knocks the tree down. It's like this one here that I'm walking right beside here. Quaking Aspen, also known as Popple. And um, that tree that you thought would stand forever, turned out it was a lot more unhealthy than you realized. Another sign of a rotted tree. Bark's coming off of it. Once the bark comes off the whole way around like that and you're back down to the wood, um, not good, not good at all. You know you can learn a lot about the world by looking out here at uh, God's creation. There's a whole lot of things, a whole lot of lessons that you can learn. So, but the beauty of it is that there's always new life around. And down here, you can, I don't know if you can see these, but down in here, let's see if I can get some video of that. These are wild strawberries growing. 
So, um, in God's judgment is a great blessing. And if you're saved, you have a right to that blessing. If you're lost, you don't have any rights. You, don't, you can't say, well, God will take care of me, too, and whatever. And, you know, again, remember another thing here, and that is that uh, that website that I did a video about, they said by 2025, military website, they said by 2025, America's population will be, will be reduced by 75%. That's a lot of death. That's a whole lot of death. And, um, you know, I mean, if you think about it, how much does America really produce anymore? Food factories have been shut down through the scamdemic. Um, you know, farms are not producing. Uh, a lot of the animal husbandry out there, be it cattle or fowl, you know, turkey, chicken, whatever. Oh, there's uh, viruses and, and they have to be culled. And they're killing them by the millions. Um, America's going to run out of food. Huh, what does the Bible say? There'd be famines and pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places, wars and rumors of wars. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Hmm, Matthew chapter 24. Chapter 24. So uh, how far are we away from that? Oh, we're in it. This is the beginning of sorrows. The time before the time of Jacob's trouble. And uh, anybody with any kind of money, you're going to see them leaving this nation, if they have any sense. They'll leave America. They'll get out. All the financiers and all the people and everything else. I saw recently that uh, Jamie Dimon, the head of uh, J.P. Morgan and Chase, I think it is, um, the biggest banker in North America, the big money man, and he said that uh, all bleep, you know, the H word, is going to break out in June. You know, I uh, saw that, uh, I think it was 862 tornadoes that we've had already this year. 862. Just incredible. And talking about 25 uh, hurricanes. <laughs> And, you know, as a child of God, you'd look at this and you say, well, praise the Lord. I'm glad to see the judgment of God. I'm gl glad that there's a judge that is doing right. And if I perish, I perish. You know, like Esther, in the book of Esther there in the Old Testament. You know, if I die in what's coming, if I die in the war and famine and whatever else, well, go home to be with the Lord. But if there's a purpose for me, then I'm going to get to see the judgment of God upon the wicked nation. And upon a wicked people that have no need for the Bible or no need for God or anything else. And then I'm going to be there to be one of the ones that says, I tried to warn you. I tried to tell you about these things. You didn't listen. You wouldn't repent. So right now America's in a death spiral. America's heading down. If they raise interest rates, then uh, they can try to keep the inflation away for a little while. Uh, if they lower interest rates, the inflation is going to explode. If World War III kicks off and America tries to get involved, inflation will explode. They're already just spending money with reckless abandon. Um, doesn't matter anymore who gets in. Um, even if you got some you know, great Christian statesman or something in, some great politician, um, it, would be, it would require bloodshed in this country. We're beyond just repairing things with words and talk. Um, we have a mental health crisis in this nation. People going around that are genuinely mentally ill. They don't know what they are. They don't know, uh, you know, just basics of science. And just absolutely insane. Um, America's finished. It is. And... Um, I look forward to seeing what the Lord has planned for the uh, future. I'm not worried about it. I know God can provide. So, just wanted to share that with you and leave some of your thoughts down below. Um, for or against, I don't really care either way. I respect other people's opinions. 
you're free to leave your opinions, just no profanity please, because this is a Christian channel, and I don't need to be vexed by profanity. So I would appreciate it if you didn't use that. Be civilized and intelligent enough to use uh, proper English, and not the lowest form of the English language, which is profanity. So, all right, enough of a rant. I need to get to the office and get this video done, and I'm going to be releasing another study, which you'll see before this one, and um, have some other work to do too. So, I'm going to walk out of the woods here and out into the field area, and it's going to get a lot more windy out there, but that's okay. Here we are, out into the open now. This is an old farm, this property, and this was once a potato field. I knew the, I've talked to the people who used to farm this and the guy whose grandfather owned this. And um, so, no longer a farm, no longer producing potatoes. <laughs> but uh, I do produce videos. So the, that's one thing. But okay, that is going to be it. As always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, all that other stuff. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.